Hi everyone. Um, just using the old camera. I am. Um, yeah, just to start off in the old greenhouse. Um, quite chuffed really, because uh, the money maker, if I can show you, has started to flower slowly. And so is this one, if I can show you. I don't know if you can see these, like, but uh, where is it? There. So, see how they get on. If they start to flower, I'll probably start to feed them. Is this the second truss? Graham said something about a second truss. I don't know if you can you see one there. Is that a second truss? Um, anyway, keep an eye on it. This bugger here, look. It's um, growing, but the two outer leaves have, don't seem too healthy, but uh, anyhow, still going. So, um, hopefully, we'll have a, a bit of a crop. Anyway, let's head inside. It's a bit dark, is it? The sun's still out. Well, that's better. Let's head inside. All right, back inside. And... Uh, Oh, it's quite warm today. It's, uh, and they do say I'm having the old fashioned, if I can see that, cup of tea. I like my tea strong, not weak. And uh, they say that quenches the thirst, hopefully. Um, we're gonna see. Oh, I've just received. Um, a new stove come all the way from America. You can't get them in this country, or you could, but they're out of stock now. But uh, I had a word for my friend, the doctor, on YouTube, and um, he knew the chap that makes them. And it's called a firebox stove, a wood burning stove. Fantastic piece of kit. Heavy, made of solid stainless steel and last for many many years very well designed uh, had a few extras with it so thanks Sandy if you're watching fantastic but I'll speak to you uh, shortly probably um, so good good stuff I've uh, been updating my camping equipment walking equipment over the last few months and it's accumulated a good bit of stuff actually um, been trying to find a good solid waterproof ground sheet and um, I, I you know I've been using these cheap sort of two pound or one pound uh, from the pound shop uh, tarps you know ground sheet but they're okay but in heavy rain or heavy if the ground's very wet they do seep so you know I'd rather carry myself personally a lot of people go by the weight and Everything's lightweight, and oh, you know, I, I managed to camp overnight in, with two items, and it's not for me that I'm not interested in that. I would rather carry a heavy bag, but have good quality and waterproof, warmth, good food, good stove, and enjoy it. That's, that's for me, because I feel the heavier it is, well, not too heavy, but the heavier it is, the the more it does you good actually more exercise but so uh, anyway I'll be using them in times to come and probably do videos on them on the equipment but I might show the ground sheets sometime uh, one is very heavy but um, it's a solid bloody hell hardware in waterproof um, thing and I, I also got a lot of ex army stuff you know uh, online and we're lucky enough to have an ex-army surplus shop in Denby so it's all good stuff really oh going down a treat a hot one yeah so um, what else is there 
couple of days off this week, looking forward to that. <laughs> I might get some cold ones in tomorrow, ready for tomorrow night. And enjoy them, I do another vlog. And bore the bloody pants off you. <laughs> but, uh, no, so that's it. So, uh, good good news with the greenhouse, um, the tomatoes. Um, very, you know, doing very well, actually. Very pleased. The chilli plant is blooming. Bloody hell, the leaves are deep green, look very healthy, getting bigger. Um, the soil is not moist, it's quite dry actually. But it seems to be, you know, it's not wilting, so I'll leave it go until it just starts to wilt. And then I'll give it some water, just a bit, and then it'll pick up again and go for days again. So it seems to work by just looking at the um, plant itself and reading the signs if you like so um, if you're not into plants and stuff like that I'm not a big you know I'm normally a hedge and grass man but uh, I, I've got I've got a, a bit of a passion now for doing a bit of veg of you know tomatoes and stuff like that just really small nothing major and if I get nothing I get nothing but if I get a couple of tomatoes I'll be quite happy um, Yes, yeah, so I'm giving my old camera a little run out. I haven't used this for a while. Uh, I had a spare battery off Graham, so it's a um, good little camera, this. And uh, it doesn't take long to upload. You know, the, the files are smaller on it because it's not HD. But uh, it's good enough, isn't it? All right. Anyway, I'll keep you no more. Thanks for watching. May see you tomorrow, see how it goes. Uh, but anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.